Hey everyone, I'm Laura and this is Puzzle Peaches. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a puzzle haul. I got 22 puzzles over the weekend for less than $70. Let's go over and see what we've got. I've got two different piles here. This is a thrift store pile just from the local thrift store. I'll tell you the price of each puzzle here. This pile I bought from a lady on a local buy and sell app in my area. So we'll go over those two. First puzzle we'll look at, it's actually eight puzzles in one box. So I'll show you, this is a Disney puzzle here. It's more of a children's puzzle, but it's Disney. I couldn't turn it down. It comes with two 500 piece puzzles, two 300 piece puzzles, and then four 150 piece puzzles. I was a little worried that the 150 piece puzzles were gonna be large pieces. So I opened it up and I checked and they're actually all small pieces, which I like. These ones are the 300 pieces finish at 20, sorry, 16 by 11 inches. The 500 piece finish at 10 by 18 inches and the 150 are seven by nine inches. The box is a little bit rough. It's not terrible. It's not too bad. So I was a little bit worried what the pieces were going to be like. So I opened it up and I checked. Let me tell you, there's 11 pieces, sorry, 11 puzzles in here. I've got three extra puzzles. And of course they're Disney as well. Ones that I already have. So now I've got doubles. These ones are all labeled and put into separate Ziploc bags. So I was really happy about that. Everything's nice and organized. It looks like they might have all their pieces just by the way they've been taken care of. I hope so. We'll find out when we put them together. This one is, looks like the company name is Mega Puzzles. That's all I see on the box here. So Mega Puzzles. And this one I paid $4 for. It's $3.99. So $3.99 for 11 puzzles. That was pretty exciting. The next one I got, this one was brand new still wrapped in plastic. I did take the plastic off because it was ripped, but brand new, originally $15 and I got it for, I think $7.99. This one is called Romantic Promenade in Paris, 500 pieces, and it is by Clementoni. Not too sure about that one. It says high quality collection on the back. This one I really like just because it was different. It's very artsy and I think the gray will be a nice challenge for sure. That finish size is 14 by 19 inches. The next one that caught my eye, this one I really liked because of the bright colors. I'm not really into cars and motorcycles, but my dad is, so I thought this would be cool to save for Father's Day. This one is called Visiting the Museum by Steve Crisp. It's a thousand pieces. Finish size is 24 by 30 inches. White Mountain is the company name and it does have a bonus poster inside. It does say larger pieces on it. So I was a little bit worried about that. It has the actual size of the piece on the box there. You can see there. So they're not too big. And the last one I got, this one also caught my attention because of the bright colors. I love the bright colors. This one is on my wish list for a thousand pieces. This is a 2000 piece version, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I've never done a 2000 piece puzzle, but it's a Euro graphics puzzle here. And this one is called Mediterranean windows. I thought it was doors, but I guess it's windows. 2000 pieces, Euro graphics, and I paid $7.99 for this one. And sorry, I forgot to mention this one. I paid $4.99, so $5 for that one. $7.99 the finished size, I can find it on here, you might not be able to, here it is, 39 by 26 inches. So I think that'll be the biggest puzzle I've done, also the largest piece number I've done. So those are all from my local thrift store. I wasn't really sure what I was going to find there, but I didn't think I did too bad. Those cost me just under $29. And then this pile here. I got from a lady from that local buy and sell app. She wasn't too far from me and all of her puzzles were $5 and all the money that she made from selling the puzzles were going to a local woman's shelter. So I had to take a bunch of puzzles from her. I got a total of eight here. And when I noticed that she had a bunch of Barbie puzzles, I had a really hard time picking which one I wanted. So 
So I ended up going with this one and I actually ended up with a second Barbie one. This was the first one I chose. You see a whole bunch of Barbies in picture frames there. And this one is a thousand pieces. It is Sherlock's. Sherlock's is not my favorite brand. The pieces are a little more thin. I like those thicker pieces, but it works just fine. Thousand pieces, 27 by 19 inches. I think this one will be a lot of fun. All the different Barbies. All I did as a kid was play with Barbies. So I'm excited to do a Barbie puzzle. I'll show you the second Barbie puzzle before we get into the other ones. This one I really thought was cool. This is a Ravensburger puzzle, a thousand pieces, and it's got all the magazine covers, all the different Barbies on there. I don't think this one will be too challenging just because there's a lot of different blocks of color. So you can kind of figure out where the pieces go. It is 20 by 27 inches. And again, I just love Barbie growing up, so I can't wait to dive into that one. This one is actually my daughter's favorite. She thinks I should do this one first. This one I had to get because my favorite food, like a lot of us, is sushi. So I thought this one was fun. 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle. This one is called, uh, if I can find it, On a Roll Sushi. So 500 pieces, finish size is 24 by 18. Too bad I won't be able to actually eat it. I'll just put it together and look at it and it'll make me crave sushi. Next one I got, this one was really different. It's got some bright, vibrant colors, but also that gray. I thought this one was really unique, different. I love that. This one is called Revolution. It is a thousand pieces and the company is 20 by 27 inches. It is by, it says it's an Android Jones collection. That's all I see on here. The box looks a little bit damaged in the corner here, but let me tell you, this woman was extremely organized and seemed very particular. So I think these puzzles are gonna be in great condition and no missing pieces. And I just found it, it's by Paper Blanks. I think this one will be fun, good challenge for sure. Another one I got from her is called Midnight Apothecary from Indigo. This one is a little bit different. I like this. You can see a bit uh, better picture of it on the back here. I think this one will be fun. Again, I don't think this one will be too challenging just because there's lots of different stuff going on, lots of lines. It's 500 pieces. And the finished size of this one is 35. Oh, that's centimeters, 35 by 50 centimeters, or I go in inches, which is 14 by 20 inches. And this one also shows the actual size of the puzzle piece on there, which I think is really cool. This one I'm excited for, but I'm also nervous for. So I've never done a puzzle like this. I have done escape rooms before and I love them just as much as I love puzzles. So I got an escape room in a puzzle. So I'm really excited to do this one. They have different versions here. They have Paris, London, Rome. I really have no idea how to do these. We'll figure it out when I get to it. It says that it is a circle. Actually, it shows on the box, it looks like a square, but it does, you can see it's got the circle patterns in there. 919 pieces, Ravensburger puzzle. It is approximately 25 by 20 inches. Really looking forward to doing that one. I imagine that one's gonna give me a hard time though. And this one I really liked because of all the fun bright colors, my favorite thing. I've got lots of different colors going on here. This one is called Wild Cherry. It's by Sunshine Puzzles. Not in inches, but it's 48 by 67 centimeters. I would have to do the math to figure out the inches. Don't ask me to do that on the spot because I won't know it. Really excited for this one again, just because of all the fun colors. And the last one that I got was a Ravensburger Disney Collector's Edition. We have Snow White. This is a thousand pieces here. Of course, it's got that soft click technology. It's Ravensburger. The name of the puzzle is just Snow White. And the finished size of this one is 27 by 20 inches. And I just love this one because, again, I grew up on Disney. I've seen all the Disney movies over and over again. Snow White was one of my favorites for sure. Loved all the Disney princesses. I'm really excited to dive into that one. It also shows on the back some of the other collector edition puzzles. I'd love to get my hands on some of those ones. This is the only collector's edition puzzle that I have. So that's all. I got all of these for 
I only paid $8 for these. I had a friend gift me the rest of the money for the puzzles. So the total was $68. I paid eight. I don't think that's a bad deal for 22 puzzles. Comment below and let me know which puzzle you guys want to see first. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a moment of piecing together new adventures and unlocking challenges together.